Google is making some major changes with Android coming later this fall with the L release. And here we wanted to dive in real quick and give you guys a quick look. Core here with Gotta Be Mobile, and today we're checking out the brand new Android L release. Now this week at Google I.O., this was finally unveiled. This is our quick, uh, our first chance to kind of get a look at what Google's designing and what Google has planned for Android, uh, you know, in the future. So um, this was just released called the L Preview, and obviously you'll notice not a lot too different here out of the gate, but there's actually three major things we wanted to focus on, that being multitasking, notifications, and then like the lock screen and a couple other things. So there's not too much you can notice, too much out of the box here at first. But when you go ahead and go to the unlock screen, you'll instantly see it's completely different. Now, of course, we have the traditional quick swipe to go to the camera, which you can do by the actual button or just swiping over. But then Google has also added a phone over here to quickly get right into the phone dialer, which is nice. And then, of course, you just swipe up to uh, go ahead and unlock. Another thing here is you notice the design changes here. We have a back and the circle and the multitasking. This is the first time in years Google's kind of changed those buttons, so that's another change that a lot of people are interested and excited about. Go ahead and go back to that lock screen. As you can see, it's completely different than before. There's no widgets, but I actually have my notifications right on the lock screen. Now here we have music playing. Oddly enough, that's not full screen. That will probably be on Android 5.0 or Lollipop or whatever the L release is called because that is you know, something a lot of people love and use now is the full screen album artwork, even on the lock screen. Um, so that's not kind of going now. But one thing that is neat, if you swipe down, this is still from the lock screen, remind you, you get kind of a fuller panned out view of it, all the notifications kind of going on. So, of course, I can kind of scroll through them. I have a screenshot there. I can, you know, pinch it. And then, of course, like always, you can just swipe to clear notifications like throughout the phone. And again, I'm still at the lock screen. I'm still not unlocked. So, uh, you know, if you have a password or a pattern, you won't be able to actually interact with these or see an email until you actually unlock the device. But then, of course, go ahead and swipe stuff away here. Go ahead and kill that. And then, when you're ready, you just slide up and you are unlocked. Now we're back into what we had originally. Go ahead and pull down. You can still see very similar to what we saw on the lock screen. But this is the new notification pull down shade. But another quick pull will reveal all those settings we're used to toggles and Bluetooth and what have you, and a couple different options. And then another thing is settings. Settings and everything is completely different. As you can see here, the top of the screen has kind of that little, as you scroll, kind of that bounce back effect. It's kind of based on the side that you're you're on. It's kind of a neat, neat little thing. And then another major thing here, it's called design material or material design, excuse me, is the uh, the new approach Google's taking here. So everything you do from tapping into something, you kind of get that, that visual cue, that playful kind of interaction with each button. Everything kind of bounces and pops and there's a lot of stuff going on. And another major thing here is the dialer and the phone app. This is one thing that's got a lot of changes. And as you can see, I mean, the, the buttons switch from like green to yellow, blue, green, yellow when you tap them. It's kind of an interesting um, approach here. And the same thing up here, when you tap all of these, they start off, you know, like a greenish color and they turn into yellow. All the buttons are very friendly and very playful. And, you know, you, you, you know you're tapping them. You get kind of that visual and uh, actual touch response, unlike previous versions of Android. And then, of course, you can tap right into the dialer. And uh, it's, it's very nice. It's kind of smooth. It's obviously a early preview build, but uh, it's a good look so far. Go ahead and tap into the multitasking. And uh, here's one of the other major changes to Android L is the multitasking. Everything's in kind of a card layout, almost like a Rolodex, much different than what we saw before. But of course, with multitasking, you can just go ahead and tap home, swipe to clear anything you don't need, and just go ahead and scroll through. And then another major thing is all your Google Chrome tabs will now be in multitasking individually. So it's kind of helping you know, users multitask in a better way. There won't be one tab just for Chrome. There will be multiple tabs if you have multiple Google Chrome apps open. So it's kind of a neat little effect here. But everything is very interesting to see, all those visual kind of touches and, and whatnot. It's very fun and very lively and very uh, you know, fun to interact with and go ahead and clear everything. But that was just a quick look here. Um, there's a lot of changes coming to Gmail and a lot of the Google apps, but those actually aren't included yet. So some of those things we did see this week at Google I.O. are not on the Android L preview, but we can expect those coming soon. Other than that, everything's, I mean, pretty similar. There's not a lot of, no, AT&T, not a lot of changes um, overall, except for some of those visual things. 
but not everything is carried over. Not all the apps have kind of those touch responses and playful designs from that material design that we are expecting, but uh, they should be coming, you know, soon. But this was just an early look at the uh, the brand new Android L release. The new keyboard's quite nifty, kind of different. But uh, there's a lot coming soon, and I'm sure more that uh, Google will unveil in the coming weeks and months before the actual L release sometime this fall. Stay tuned for plenty more videos and more hands-on. Thanks for watching, guys.